please subscribe to make sure you get all race weekend updates as they happen. And it really helps my channel. Okay, lining up for race start. This is, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I nearly went home if you watched my live updates and because um, of the weather, it's <coughs> glad I stayed. Here we go, red lights are on and we're off. Good start, not amazing, but we've held our place. That's the anti wheelie coming in there. So this is really good now. We've held our position. Richie has a moment in front of us, gives us an opportunity to come at him. But equally, when someone has a moment, you kind of roll off a little bit. Coming to this corner here, now you get a bit of a bottleneck happening because it's fast into here. My bike's wobbling there. The forehill's not up to temperature. It's really bizarre all weekend. Um, we need to try and work on that. Let's just watch the rear view. So. Here we go, here's our launch. Pretty good, as you saw from the front. Just about holding our place, didn't overtake anyone. Can't complain too much, losing a couple of places here, but I think we're gonna get them back on the exit. Um, yeah, and just trying to uh, start the race, you're just trying to do your best, trying to get ahead of people, obviously, but <clears throat> trying to stay on the bike. You can see the bike wobbling, that's that fork wheel not up temperature. But I find out it's a different problem later on. And then we're off down the straight, and we're not going to see those guys now for the rest of the race. <clears throat> Here we go, there's uh, Peter Baker and Luke Dixon in front of us. They've both been a bit quicker than me this season, so <clears throat> I'm really happy that we're sticking with them at this stage. And also, the leaders haven't properly cleared off yet, so that's given me a bit of hope. And this is actually a restart. Look at Peter, he's so he's such a good racer. He's very aggressive on the overtakes. Not you know, aggressive, but he'll make moves happen. So we want to try and stick with these guys. And this is a, the fast entry on start finish rate. What's that, 150 miles an hour, fifth gear, that is fast. And this is a fast entry corner again. You don't want to lunge underneath someone there because you're going to have trouble with plenty of runoff. And we're just, your heart rate through your, you know, through the roof at this moment because you're, you're nervous before the race. You get on there and then adrenaline spiking and I am fast in here and just, uh, I thought I was going to hit Peter there. I was struggling with that corner, as you saw, it's a bottleneck, you're coming in really quick, round a left hander into a tight right and uh, if you miss your braking, <clears throat> there's nothing you can do, you're into those people. Peter seems to have a problem with his bike because I was miles back and I caught him up there, I pulled him in down the straight um, and then I've run it wide there to stop him doing that aggressive undertake he does into that corner so we seem to have held that and now we've got Luke in front of us on the rear camera Peter is now just stuck behind me and um, you see the bike moving around a bit here he's not got quite enough to get past me but we're pulling in Luke um, the bike handling is pretty good we, uh, we go two seconds faster in this session than we did in qualifying so you've got to be happy with that and here we're going to see again, like I'm getting sucked in now, I'm going quick, I'm going to break late, he's over to the left, I'm into the right and I'm not stopping and so I've had to run wide, I was just trying not to hit him, Peter's back underneath us but now I've got a better line onto the start, finish, oh sorry the back straight, Wellington straight, bike's a bit unstable, bosh, we're straight past him, he's definitely got a problem. Um, and then now we're going after Luke again, um, I think we've got the pace to get past him but he's always been quicker than me so if I can beat him in one race, you know, I'm uh, going to be pretty happy with myself. And um, my bike's not turning perfectly. I've improved it every every uh, session I've been out. I've gone faster every session, so I've got to be happy. Um, but I've never been on this circuit before, so, uh, as you know, every session is a learning session. And um, we're going in the right way to set up. Again, I don't want to do that lunge under there. And that compromising me here looks just there can we get past him he would have had a better line out here but now <clears throat> i'm not going to um, do anything silly into here he's got a nice line around here now i've gone in tight and this video stuff is really good for me when i watch it after a race i can see where i can improve my lines where i can break better um <clears throat> and uh, we're just down the back straight now now we start reeling him in on the power at, towards the end of the straight and now we're just going to commit to a uh, passing him on the brakes and uh, we are pretty happy with ourselves at this moment in the race and um, we're just going to go to the rear cam because the people in front of us have cleared off basically so there's nothing to see for the rest of the front of the race there's Peter really trying to come underneath us we just you know have the line and as you see here like 
he's getting destroyed on the street. I don't know what's wrong with his bike. The other Kawasaki, that Kawasaki is pretty quick to be fair. Um, and this is us just passing Luke. Is it? Yeah, there he is. And so now we're going to spend the rest of the race just, uh, I wouldn't say defending because that's not really how I ride. Um, I just want to ride my lines and um, go as fast as I can. So what we're trying to do is just hold out in front of these guys and they're going to obviously try their best to get back past us. Um, and then uh, this was a shortened race, six lapper. The first race we did three laps, had a good start, I was really enjoying it. And if you watch the weekend updates, I do little video snippets throughout the weekend. It started to sleet in the race. <clears throat> and um, you know, fully slick tyres, powerful bike, it's a fast circuit. Uh, I pulled in on lap three, I think, and um, the front guys, they kept going for another lap and then they red flagged the race due to the weather. Um, and so this was a restarted race. And what it allowed me to do from that first three laps, the handling, whilst I was improved it, I hadn't, you know, it wasn't good. So I managed to do um, another change to the bike for this race. Um, so this was sort of a weekend of just developing the bike, or the settings on the bike really. And to beat Peter and Luke, I'm really happy with that, especially as the bike's still not handling as I would like it. Um, and it was cold as well, like in qualifying, a problem I was having was not only is the forks um, not getting up to temperature, but the brakes were getting too cold because I've got air ducts. So for this race, I'd taken the air ducts off and my brakes were good. Um, as you can see, some big braking there, some big high speed and you need to build your confidence. Having confident, inspiring brakes is really going to help you out there. Um, and I think this is the uh, the last corners now. So we're going to flip to the front, get the chequered flag, spray some champagne. Although we're only say only seventh is a good result for us. We started twelfth. Here we go. There's the chequered flag on the right. There it is. End of the race. Wait for race two, which is going to be pretty exciting as well. <laughs> 